Welcome back to my channel. So I'm live on Facebook most nights and try to upload to YouTube so you guys have some content. Hey Jay. Just wait for a few other people to pop on here. Do, 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 do. Trying to think of what I need. Let's see if we can get this. Let's see if we have people on here tonight. Hey, AJ. Just waiting for people. I guess while I wait, I'll make some. Bring you down here. Um, Chewy is doing better. Chewy! Choo choo! Want a treat, Chewy? He's upstairs. Come here, Choo Chi. Come here. Come here, baby. He's all good. He's good tonight. Yeah, I actually slept last night. It was it was nice. I, did, I still woke up with a start, but it was nice. I was glad that he was still alive. Huh, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> you I gotta gave him a little face cut the other day. See, he looks a little surprised. His little pupils. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold on. Hey, Dev. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's get started. All right, we're gonna get some, got this pan that we're, turn on here. I'm gonna chop some onions. Oh, Addy, that's enough. So I'm gonna put three onions. We'll see if I can get through this, uh, without crying so guys if you like what I'm about you like my story you like what I do go to my YouTube maybe my uh, lovely assistant Mr. J will put a link up to my fa my uh, YouTube so that we can get up to a thousand subscribers so that we can do lives on YouTube. Super chats, talk with me, walk with me, shop with me. It's all going to be on there. The page is called Cooking on a Dime. And the A is a, a capital A. I think I managed to do that. Maybe. Oh no, feel tears coming on. I got this. It's Plainville Farm all natural ground turkey. 85% lean, 15% fat. Pretty lean meat. That's what we're going to be using tonight. This I got at. Where did I get the Shaw's? I think. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate that. So I've already pre-made my rice in my rice cooker. If you don't have a rice cooker, that's fine. You can do it on top of the stove. Um, 
onions got me a little bit, so try not to cry on you. Uh, all right, so we're going to get these onions going and started to get a little bit um, translucent here. And then we're going to season the meat really good. The rice I've got in my rice cooker, you guys have seen my rice cooker before. It's an aroma pot. It's an aroma pot. The uh, dish comes out. Lid comes off. So this, I usually make two cups of rice at a time. And, um, just a second. I do have a little bit of a cold. Um, so the rice I, uh, the rice I put in here is two cups of water, two cups of brown rice, um, about a tablespoon of olive oil and, um, a tablespoon of, a tablespoon of sasson. And that's what we got in there. And then, um, the meat is going to be seasoned as well, not only with the onions, but with some other spices, so... Where's all my peeps tonight? <sighs> Thanks, Jay. So I managed to score this at the thrift shop today. Can you see it? It's a Weight Watchers scale. And I need it because lots of things are done in ounces that I'm going to be having to use. So um, I needed that. So it's nice. Hey, Taylor. So this is really nice because it has ounces and grams on it. So I'll have to use it. I'll be able to use it during surgery. I just got my book today. So today was, I had appointments. I had my gynecological test. Um, and then I went right from there to my nutritionalist. And then I had to go in for a trans... We're getting really creepy here, so if there's any little kids watching, sorry. Um, this is my life. This is my life. This is what's going on, so I'm going to report back on it. Um, and I also had a transvaginal um, ultrasound done today. Um, so the nutritionalist was very impressed with me. She's like, you should be, you should be up for surgery soon. Um you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing right. You're thinking right. You're doing all the right things. You're doing all the right steps. Proceeded to hand me a manual that I kid you not is like that thick. And um, I'm going to have, I read, I went through half of it this afternoon, but it's a lot of reading. Hi, Ashley. Um yeah it's a little overwhelming so there's diets that you have um there's diets that you have to do beforehand so what now i'm doing now is prepping but in order to one week one to two weeks before you have to go on a strict diet you have about 800 calories and you have to pick from their diet menus which is very difficult for me because i'm allergic to so much and I talked to her about that today, and they said, she said, don't worry about it. We'll, you know, we'll figure something out. We'll go around and about and try to figure something out. Um, so my caloric intake one to two weeks before surgery is going to be 800 calories. So right now I'm about, I'm allotted 1,800, but I usually have about... 800 so I'm usually I'm like at a thousand calories a day um, Because I don't use up all the calories that I that I have I'm perfectly fine not doing it I realized that I was stress eating a lot and it wasn't healthy so um, That went well I got to meet with her again at the end of February and then the middle of March in the middle of March I'll have that appointment with the nutritionist and then I'll also have um my appointment for new intake for patients and I'll get my surgery date that day. Um, so that's exciting. So it looks like probably end of March or beginning of April, I'll have my surgery. So until then, we're just going to keep cooking the way we've been cooking. 
and uh, go from there. Hey, Jen. Um, um, I'm still cancer-free. Mm, kind of. Not sure. Um, so today I found out that the cyst that I had on my only ovary that I have um, has mutated into this oblong peanut type peanut it looks like a nutter butter that's the only thing I could think of to describe it that's what it looked like um so it's concerning to them so I'm not sure if I will have to have um if I'm gonna have to have surgery before surgery to have that removed because I'll have to have my ovary taken out at the same time do you need any support buds for appointments Jay I might take you up on that hi Sarah okay so we're gonna dump in this turkey it's a pound of ground turkey and they always put this thin film of thing on there so make sure you take that out you don't want to cook that I'm saying that because people have done it all right so I'm gonna turn this burner down a little bit because we don't want it to stick to the pan and we're gonna put some um, onion powder in salt and pepper remember we're gonna have other um, other flavors in this so we're gonna have plenty of seasoning I know you guys can't see what I'm doing but salt pepper onion powder and there's actually two liners in this but I like this liner better And then you can wash this and, re and recycle it. Okay, wash my hands off. Oh, Jay, me too. They're a pain. Okay. So, we're going to just... So, anyway, um, they're hoping that it's just a cyst, but because it's kind of morphed into something that looks really weird, they're thinking, you know, cancer is still a possibility. And if that's the case, they're just going to take the, take the whole ovary and be done with it. They'll send me into menopause early, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to be 45 in March, so. Hey, Sean. So I'm not really worried about it. All right, because we want some moisture in here, we're going to open up. A bag of mixed vegetables and I buy these at Walmart they're great value brand they're 82 or 84 cents a package at least here in Vermont yeah and I'm gonna add about half a package and the same with the broccoli crowns add about half a package and then this the rest of this we can just save now I had these sitting on the counter for about an hour to kind of defrost them just because I wanted them um, to be room temperature and then we're gonna mix this with the turkey here I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna mix it with the turkey the turkey is not done all the way through yet and we're gonna do this sounds like my man is home all right so okay I'll turn you back around here all right so we're gonna wait for the rest of the turkey to go I'm home. hi baby Are those steamer bags that you could pop in the microwave if you want? Yes, they are. They are steamer bags. They are indeed. Yeah, you have to place this. It says this side up. Hi, Tina. And it's important that you leave it in the microwave 
for a minute after you cook it because it settles the steam down so that when you open the bag, the steam doesn't come rushing at you. All right, we're gonna turn this burner back up and get this cooked. And because I season everything, we're gonna do this. Get my Himalayan pink salt out and about two little pinches over the vegetable parts. Pink Himalayan salt is a good thing. So one of the things they said in my booklet was um, to make sure you season with spices a lot. I was like, yeah, what do you? What else would you season with? Um, so if anybody out there knows of a good broth, <coughs> not making homemade, not homemade, um, that doesn't that is low in calories. It's low in calories and low calories, low sodium, and no MSG. Let me know. Jay, I have only been by a Trader Joe's one in my entire life. Hi, Karen. I'm just going to keep mixing this with the turkey and try to get that turkey brown. Hi, Becky. Oh, guys, you want to see something I got today? It was so awesome. So I went to, um, I can't say the actual thrift, the thrift shop name, but I went to a thrift shop in White River today. Guys, if you're local, you can kind of figure that out. Hi, Nicole. Um, I got this awesome mason jar. Isn't this cool? It's a wide, wide mouth, 1,500 milliliters. I'm so excited. I have the top two, but I got it for $1.75. I was so excited. I love mason jars. That's all I drink out of. My popcorn's in an antique mason jar. The dog treats are in a mason jar. <laughs> I just love mason jars. I love them, love them, love them. So guys, if you're just if you're just popping on, we've added turkey, ground turkey to some mixed vegetables and some broccoli. And some updates were that I saw the nutritionalist today. I meet with her again. Um, I meet with her again next um, month, uh, the end of February. And do my second session. And then my third session se session will be the middle of March. And I should get my surgery date then. Uh, my surgery will either be end of March, beginning of April. So I should be feeling okay by the time my woman's retreat comes and my couple's retreat comes. I hope. Fingers crossed. We'll do that. Hi, Addie. Guys, see how beautiful she is? You see, see how her? pretty she is? She's so pretty. What a pretty girl. Pretty girl. They saw a Chewy earlier. Did they? Yeah. He's cute. He's cute. He's adorable. He's not pretty as Addie. <laughs> what are those? What are those what? The dog? Hey. Seven. No. Ah! Oh. Got a reaction ah! of the dog. Ah! Oh shit. I don't ah! know what you're talking about, Jay. I don't know what you're ta what you're saying. Oh, no, stop it. Jeez. He's gonna take your head off. Oh, I'm so scared, dude. Ah! Yeah, he's such a maniac. Ah! Like, hey, how you doing? Oh, it's like a vacation for couples and a and for women. I hate you. It's Jay, right. that's all it is. Right. No, Joey. You got all the information? You've been busy, yeah. huh? Good job. You kept it. I'm so yeah. impressed. 
Did you put your license number and everything um, there? I sent you the picture on, okay, on of my license on Messenger. Okay. All right, cool. So that's all set, and my social. I wrote down my social number. And your W two, all both, the W two. Yeah, are both there. my W twos are in there. Okay. I'm gonna get my bank information tomorrow, so I can do a direct deposit. Okay. And also, I'm gonna be claiming Ashton. Okay. Does he have a social security number? Yes, you'll need that too, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'll send that to you, as well as my bank information. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. I'll tell Jen I said the, hi. The new baby. It's not been bad. It's actually been Is he better out there? than I thought. Hey, Missy. Yes. Oh, let me get my shoes off. Come on, let's see. I, see I didn't go see him because I I told George he had to bring this the stuff I over because I was sick. I'm not feeling great, so I don't want right. to give anything to the baby. I'm good. I'm not How's Jen doing? She's in some pain, but she's doing it. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's good. She'll have her days. Yeah. <laughs> she got her drugs. She'll be happy. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I do taxes in my off season. Just kidding. I just do it for friends. <laughs> Hi, Missy. You've come to madness and chaos here. We're still waiting on this turkey to finish up and um, get brown through. And then we can... Um, the vegetables are... I don't want to, like, get them... I don't want to get them. Jen had surgery today. So, um, anyways, uh, I don't want the vegetables to get real mushy. I want them to get, you know, kind of al dente, I guess, is what I want. So we're going to cook this until they get a little, the broccoli is what I'm mostly worried about. And then we're going to dump in the rice. All right, so we're getting there. Let me get a spoon for the rice. It was a busy, busy, busy day today. What'd you do today, Jay? All right, we are going to spoon in probably half of this rice because we're going to go to Brendan's tomorrow and cook dinner with him and um, I'm going to make burritos with pulled chicken tomorrow those dogs are crazy I'm making a mess. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to show you after I get it mixed in. You went to the gym? I didn't get to the gym today. I was supposed to, but I didn't. Everything that happened and then Akash... Um, Akash uh, wanted a haircut and had homework. So I'm like, yeah, we're just staying home. Not going to worry about it. Um, he's living in, um, Roxbury. And we're just going to put in a little bit of teriyaki. Kind of let that incorporate. I'm going to unplug my rice cooker. Alright, we got one more step to this. I wish I had aerial... Um, wish I had aerial footage kind of looking down on my, on my food.
We're gonna add some egg and scramble it right in the pan. These are nice Nelly's free range eggs. And most of these, just like this one, is a double yoker. It's a double yoker. And I'm just gonna scramble it up, cook it through on this side of the pan, and then mix it in with the rest of the rice. Shouldn't take too long. Oh my goodness, my dogs are driving me crazy. We still have the clip. What clip? Oh, the, never mind, I know what you're talking about, the uh, clip for the phone. All right, we're getting there. It's almost done. He looks so peaceful. Isn't he a beautiful baby? Yeah, yeah. yeah he looks so... He's such a cute oh, baby. I did, did you. You're welcome. All right, so the egg is done. We're just going to mix it right in with the rest of this. All right, I'm going to have to put you guys down. Turn my burner off. All right. We are done. That is it. That is how you make it. And an update. Tomorrow I'm going to try to go live at Brendan's, but I'm not sure I'll be able to, to do the burritos. We'll see. See how he feels about it. All right, guys. That's it for tonight. Happy eating. Hey guys, it's Eve.